The rise of white supremacy in the US has seen a counter surge in an anti-fascist movement that's come to be known as Antifa. It gets attention when activists come out to oppose far-right marches, often in dangerous confrontations with neo-Nazis or the police. It's our duty, it's our obligation as human beings to come in and use our voice and use our bodies to protect our communities. I personally am comfortable with the thought that my life could be like, I could die in order to make it easier for other people to live. Whoa! Many conservatives here say that Antifa, and not the far right, is the real danger. In the past, Antifa protesters have vandalized businesses and beaten people during rallies in the name of anti-fascism. We're not going to let fascists take over peacefully. By whatever means? By any means necessary. Which means the potential use of violence? Unfortunately. Luis, who's been arrested many times, insists it's never his objective to start violence, only to physically confront hate groups on the streets. But even in recent days, we've seen that the Antifa movement takes many other forms to oppose fascism. Well, you don't just see anti-fascism expressed in this country on the streets when people come out to confront white supremacists. Antifa has also found a home in the supporters' clubs of some of America's professional football teams. The stadium at this Portland Timbers game was awash with anti-fascist slogans and signs and messages of inclusion. Even the supporters' club logo is that of the Iron Front, its three arrows representing opposition to Nazism. And this is Antifa 2, a metal band lockdown, part of a thriving US anti-fascist music scene. We're seeing such a high rise in this racist, prejudice, um, a lot of times you get a lot of like sexist, homophobic, like transphobic kind of um, these views and opinions that people want to express. I want to focus on saying, you know, these things are not okay. Just you playing the riff. So what do they think about the president saying he's thinking of designating Antifa a terrorist organization? Antifa is not an organization whatsoever. Um, it just should be who you are as a human being. And it's super confusing as well because he wants to label Antifa a terroristic organization, whereas they've done nothing or we've done nothing uh, terroristic at all. We've committed no sorts of atrocities, unlike the, uh, the other side, the far right side, in which there have been many, many very deadly terroristic attacks uh, in which the president hasn't really had anything to say about. And when you do look at the mass shootings by white supremacists at a black church or a synagogue or targeting Latinos, there has been no equivalent violence on the far left. That's not to say things aren't heading in a more extreme direction. Aline McBull, BBC News in Portland, Oregon.